Hello, I'm Coach Simpson, uh, head coach for Liberty Lady Jays basketball. Um, we had our home opener last night in the new Liberty Fieldhouse. Uh, feel like we played really, really well. We won 65 to 50 over rival Blue Springs South. Um, we have played them multiple times over the last four years, and uh, it's always a tough game. So we we're really excited with the way that we came out on top. Yes. Um, I think it was our depth, the, the fact that we were able to play 10 players consistently. Um, our bench scored 22 of our 65 points, which a year ago we had games where our starters scored 52 of our 54. So to have our bench play as well as they did, especially in, in, in key moments in the third quarter, was really big for us. Yes, sir. Um, I think our help side defense, we were helping from the wrong spots. We were helping up the line from the post way too much. Uh, we need to help more from the guards, put a lot of pressure on our post and give up a lot of easy buckets inside. Uh, that's not normally how we play our man-to-man. -man. Um, I think we just got a little tight and guarded too closely off the ball. Um, you know, I think that uh, I think our passing got better as the game went on. Early in the game, we were really tight and did a lot of kind of one-on-one -on -one basketball. And once we decided to play a little bit more team basketball in the third and fourth quarters, we opened up a pretty good lead. So I think there's just a couple small things we need to fix before Monday. Yes? How do you think you guys are doing in North Tournament? Um, the North Tournament is one that we, we love to play in. It's a great facility, obviously, and, it, and it's, um, it's run really well. Uh, you know, last year we took second. And when we lost in that championship game, we, we kind of got blown out. It was a really, really bad night for us. We played bad. We didn't play together. Um, we got beat by a good Smithville team. Um, we start out with, with Fort, and um, we kind of know them. We uh, played them a couple times last year. Uh, we kind of know what they can do. We feel comfortable with our game plan against them, but we know that we need to go out and play well. Um, you know, I think we have a chance to put ourselves back in the championship game next week, but there's definitely some good competition there. Um, you know, I thought, I, I thought we had, again, I, th I thought our bench played really well. Um, Kel Newland coming back off of an ACL tear uh, and missing her entire freshman year and then coming in last night and scoring 13 in the first half was, was huge, not only for us, but for her. Um, I was really excited for her because she had worked so hard to get back and, and um, it's always nerve wracking in that first, that first official game back coming off of an injury like that. Um, <clears throat> I thought that um, our bench presence when they were not in the game was really big too. Uh, we did have a point in the third quarter where all five of our starters were sitting out together and every time our bench would score, our bench players would score, our starters were jumping up and down and really excited. And that, that, that told me that our team had grown up a lot. Um, I think in the past we may not have done that. We may not have been so excited about other people doing things that we wish we were doing. And uh, so that, that was something that went really well. And I thought just our adjustments at halftime you know, we made quite a few just defensively and some things that we wanted to change up with how we were guarding people. And I think that that, that helped. And I, I felt like our kids responded really well. Yes? Uh, what was it like playing in the new gym for the first time as uh, far as like basketball games? It was amazing. The student section was great. I mean, the student section was up from the get-go. Um, you know, the new gym, it's much bigger. But um, as, we, as we saw in a timeout, you can still hear everything a person says. So. Um, it, was, it, it still has that Coakley feel where the crowd's still on top of you. It's loud, it's a little obnoxious. It's, to me, it's still super intimidating for other teams to play in. Um, so I, we couldn't be more blessed than to have a facility like we do and, and very thankful for that, but it was a lot of fun to play in there. Yes? How do you think the rest of the season has played out? I think that you know, it's a step-by-step -step process. The thing that we talked about most yesterday before the game we had three motivating factors. Um, one of them was a little bit of a respect factor from, from people outside of our, our area. Another one was that we needed to be 1-0 and last night, and another one was that it was Blue Spring South. Um, that 1-0 and factor will be there every single game. You know, I, I would love to, to look way down in the future and say, we're going to be playing in Columbia, but really the only thing I can look at is Fort on Monday, and our goal is to be 1-0. and And I think if we approach it that way, and we take it game by game, and never look past or never look too far into the future, I think, I think we'll have a chance to be really successful. Yes? What's it like to have six seniors on this team, so to speak, only have two or three freshmen 
Uh, it's huge to have six seniors. Um, I think that that was part of what helped us get through last night. I feel like the experience factor was what Blue Spring South didn't have. Um, Blue Spring South played extremely well and extremely hard and really pushed us, but I felt like our experience and our depth and the ability to have leaders on the floor at all times that were seniors was huge. I mean, it really helped our younger kids kind of calm down and get acclimated to the game and play through it. So it's a huge blessing. All right. Um, thank you very much and uh, have a great Friday.